I'm Jalen Green. What's going on? My name is Dre. I'm doing something different today. I have a guest, as you can see, the number two ranked high school basketball player of the 2020 class. Jalen Green, thank you so much for hanging out today. Yep. All right, so first of all, I want to start off and just do like a little lightning round to kind of, mm -hmm. you know, get you comfortable with me. I promise. Yeah. Texting or talking? Texting, for sure. Favorite holiday? Christmas. Your nickname, if you have one. Mm, unicorn or Dave. Celebrity crush. Ooh, that's big. <laughs> Let me see. It's either Ariana Grande or Alix. Or who? Alix. Who's that? She raised ex girlfriend. She All makes right. music, but like she's famous. Okay, so. okay. Favorite junk food? Ooh, I eat a lot of junk food. Um, Candy, cookies. Yeah, I like cookies. Yeah. I'll probably get All right, let's talk about basketball. It's kind of your thing, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's talk about high school. So you are a junior right now. Yeah. You've been playing insane basketball. I've been back in Fresno for two years and watched you these last couple seasons. Mm -hmm. Someone put me up on the Jalen game and I had to watch you. I absolutely love it. Thank um, you. At the beginning of this season, what were some of your goals and which have you accomplished yet? Uh, most of my goals this year were just to be a leader. Um, you know, uh, move the ball around, playing the point guard. I didn't play as much last year because London was here. So mm -hmm. this year I, I got to step up and play point guard and um, just be a two-way player. I think. I've achieved that leader goal and um, being a two-way player, but I sometimes like lack on defense, but you know, I'm trying. I'm <laughs> but trying. you make up for yeah, it on offense, up. right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you talked about London. I was actually going to ask about him and Damien. Do you still talk to London? I know yeah. he's in San Diego, right? Mm -hmm. He's and doing Damien's all right. At LMU. Damien's doing good right now, and uh, London registered, so he's getting that extra work. Oh, so okay. He can play next year. Cool. Okay, so so far this season, what part of your game have you improved on the most um, from last season? Mm, my shooting. And uh, yeah, probably much. I was more of an attacker last year. I didn't really shoot as much, but this year I got more of a shot and I'm expanding it more. What do you want to improve on even more? You know, this season it's almost it's coming to an end, but next yeah. season and going into college? Uh, mostly my half court game, honestly, because, you know, I said playing the point guard. I got to get my team into offense and stuff, you know, make things easier for the team and make things easier for me. So, yeah. Talk about your experience here at Memorial on the court with your coaches, with your teammates, and off the court, you know, in the classroom, education, all that. Yeah, I love Memorial. It's like, it's like a big old family here. It's a small school, so everyone knows each other. Mm -hmm. We all talk to each other around campus in the hallways. Uh, the coaches are involved. You know, we have rallies and stuff. Coaches come, teachers all there, all the students. So, I mean, we're all close together. So, it's like love here. Okay, we're gonna take it back to younger Jalen. Obviously, you've been working your butt off for a long time now. Yeah. Some kids at a young age don't understand how discipline and hard work can benefit them in the future. Do you remember how old you were when you were able to comprehend that and it clicked in your head? Like, if I work my butt off, this could this could be big and bigger and better than what it is now. Yeah, it was like sixth grade. Like, I played basketball all the way from third grade to now. And then so I think sixth grade, I really started like working out for basketball. My seventh grade year, I was still playing football. So I played football and basketball and then I got hurt in football. And so eighth grade year, I sat out, didn't play basketball, and just worked out that whole year. And then ninth grade year is my blow up year, and that's when I started getting on the radar. Rankings came out, I went to USA, a whole bunch of things like that, and that's and just from there it just escalated up. You mentioned USA. Obviously, I was going to talk about that too. <laughs> events like that, uh, Thanksgiving Hoop Fest, which you did amazing in. What do events like that? What what's that experience like for you? And what does it teach you about yourself as a player and just as a person? Uh, USA brings out a lot, actually, because, you know, all the coaches have been around pros and stuff like that, so they've all seen all the flashy dunks and stuff. When you get there, it's like you're a normal person, so <laughs> you got to do, like, the little things, and that's, like, talking, playing defense, getting in the right spot, uh, communicating. So, I mean, that brings out the other side, and then, um, yeah, that's, that's basically it. I interviewed you... Um, couple weeks now, mm -hmm. a couple weeks ago now at Bullard. Yeah. You said, um, I asked you about, you know, you playing so many minutes here at Memorial and you said you want to continue to play a lot of minutes here and at the next level, college, NBA, hopefully M NBA is what you said. Yeah. Um, I know college-wise you have had many offers. Mm -hmm. You've had the chance to visit Memphis and Florida State. Yeah. Is, are those the only two yeah, you visited? Only two. What did you like about those schools when you were there? Uh, the coaching staff, Memphis has a great coaching staff, Mike Miller, Penny Hardaway, mm -hmm. uh, Sam Mitchell. 
and um, at Florida State, it's just the same thing. Great coaching staff, great facility. Um, people are going to keep it 100. It's a small town, too. So, I mean, I think that's better. It gets out a lot, too, around there. Does the fact that Penny Hardaway is coaching Memphis make it any more appealing to you? I mean, does that, you know, like, yeah, the I fact that he was in the league, that kind of mm -hmm. experience, does it, yeah, does I it make it that. a little I bit mean, better? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it makes it a little bit better, but I mean, it's still open. Like, I still have open decisions of where I yeah. want to go. I don't really know where I'm going yet. So, I mean, it's cool that Penny is the coach there because, you know, he has connects. Mike's been in the NBA too. Mm -hmm. So, Sam Mitchell has too. All three of those coaches have been to the NBA and coached in the NBA. Yeah. So Sam Mitchell has. So, they've all been around the NBA that I got to connect. So, I mean, that's always a leeway, but you know, I just need a good coach who's going to be 100 with me. When it comes to visiting the schools, besides basketball, obviously there's education, but, you know, the area, Florida State, Memphis, do you like where they're at? Like, yeah. is there stuff that you can do besides, you know what I mean? Would you enjoy being in that location? Yeah, I mean. Or any of like, the schools that yeah. you have offers for? I mean, there's a lot of colleges that are, like, in big cities and stuff like that, but those two colleges are in, like, I would say isolated areas, mm -hmm. like, you know, there's not really much going on there. And I like that because, like, you, to yourself, you know, just come. Stay focused. Stay focused, work. Stay out of trouble. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Facts. Not college, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> All right, we're going to transition again. I want to talk about family. Your parents are at every single one of your games. Your little sister that mm -hmm. I've seen on your Instagram, she's a cutie, by the my way. My right there. Is she? Yeah. Oh, my God. I love her. She, I feel like she knows everyone, too. She knows everybody. She's she always just wandering. She goes and wandering yeah. around the gym. Just, just like, <laughs> I'm like, she's going to get her. lost. But, no, she knows everyone, yeah. so it's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, how does their support make you a better player, a better person, just better the whole way it's just they've always been supporting me always been my mom's never missed a game always been at every game and um mark has been working out worked me out since i was in sixth grade so he's been there and um my little sister she's always representing me always talking about me to her friends and stuff so that's a big <laughs> thing so it's gonna keep me humble especially her my little sister that's gonna keep me level-headed because she always telling me I suck and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that'll she'll, get you. Or she'll bomb me up or stuff that'll like that. That'll keep you right. Does she yeah. play too? How well, old is she? She's starting at seven. Seven? She's about to be eight. She's getting, there. She's getting there then, huh? Yeah, so. That's great. I mean, do you think she, she likes it or she will like it? Yeah, she'll like basketball. Yeah. She, already, she likes watching me play and stuff. So yeah. I feel like that'll help out. That's dope. She likes volleyball, though, too. I don't I, mean, I guess it's just cool. in the genes, yeah, not like that yeah. athletic gene. She's tall, too. so I noticed, yeah. Okay, yeah, so. I'm glad you brought your mom up because I watch, not in a creeper way by any means, I watch your mom watch you sometimes. And mm. the reason why is because one game, um, I, you got called, I want to say it was for travel, I could be wrong, I don't remember what it was. Mm -hmm. But I remember, I happened to look her way, and she kind of mocked what you did and kind of gave you the, yeah, you, you did. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you messed up. And ever since then, I kind of, like, I'll glance over to kind of see what she's looking at, what she's doing. And it seems like she knows the game so well. Yeah. It's like she's on the court, yeah. How, was is it just from watching you? She's learned so much about it? or nah, she's did played, she used she to played play? basketball in high school and played in college, too. Oh, no but way. But she was known as a defender. Like oh, okay. She, she was a defender. But, uh, like, if you notice in games, like, if I mess up or... I do something that I always look towards them yeah. like for advice because I know they know better than I do Yeah. not know something, you know? So, she definitely watches yeah. the game like not a, a typical parent. Yeah, no. You know, like she cheers you on by all means, which is great, but it, she sees more than yeah, I think right. than some people see. And then it, it didn't used to be that way. Like she's toned it down yeah. a lot more. <laughs> she, when I was younger and I was playing at AAU, I would say like around seventh, sixth grade, uh, we played in, with a team in the Bay Area, and mm -hmm. she would always, like, yell at me. Like, it would just take me out of my game. Yeah. And I would just get frustrated and start playing bad. But she's toned it down a lot. So, Did you so. have to tell her, like, Mom? Yeah, I was like, yeah, it, it Mom, gets you got you to chill a little bit. Like, she you would gotta, get in your head. Like, nobody else would get in my head, but when I see them, like, shake their head or yelling at me and stuff, that, like, puts me it down. It gets you. Yeah, it gets to me. So, that's so players can't get to you. Mm -mm. How do you get to players? How do you get in their head? I know you talk some trash. I've yeah, seen I it. Do. I, do. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I mean, a lot of players talk trash to me, and it's like every single game, like no matter what team we're playing. But I don't know. I don't say much. <laughs> it looked like I'm saying a lot in the game, but 
most I'll probably say is let's go. Yeah. Or you suck or something like that. Like, I don't really talk like that. All right. Let my game do the talking. I, I like that. <laughs> okay. So we're going to completely transition to just some fun, random stuff. Mm-hmm. So people can get to know you a little bit more. Uh, you mentioned the unicorn nickname. Mm-hmm. I've seen it. Where did it come from? Did you name yourself that? Like, what? what's it all about? Uh, my freshman year, Coach Gates came out from Florida State, came out and watched me practice. And Mike was there, and my dad was there, and they was watching. And then Coach Gates said I'm like a unicorn. And my dad didn't get it, because I was still on the court. I didn't hear it yet. Yeah. My dad didn't get it. And um, Mike was like, it's like a unicorn. Like, you're a rare breed. Like, no one's doing what you're doing. So we kind of just took that and, like, made it bigger than what it was. So that's so, like, yeah. is that like your trademark now? Yeah, Are basically, you making it? Yeah. yeah, that's so dope. So who, if anyone, do you feel like you want to or do style your game after? Mm, probably like a Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, and that. Chris Paul. All three of them? Yeah. I try okay. to be aggressive, have that chip on my shoulder like Russell Westbrook. Uh, play long and uh, slashy with like Kevin Durant and then uh, just that IQ passing getting teams being the mm-hmm. leader like Chris Paul I like how you wrote that down for me okay <laughs> any game game day rituals for you game day rituals any certain music song you listen to uh, any do you have a certain meal that you eat what do you eat before game days are you on an empty stomach some people like to play like no nah, we have team meals okay. but I mean I don't know if there's like a ritual or nothing I used to eat Skittles before every game, but I stopped that because that's that's bad. <laughs> Are you on any kind of, I guess, strict diet? Mm-mm. No, you no. Just eat what I need you to change my diet. I need to get on a diet, but like, or not a diet, but like a better eating. Eating, habit. yeah. Yeah. I mean, but you're still young. That. Yeah. It'll but. catch up later. <laughs> <laughs> if you could shoot around and talk life and basketball with any past or present NBA player, who would it be? Michael Jordan. And why? <laughs> He's the GOAT. I, my, I looked up to Michael Jordan since I was a kid, and I went to his, one of his camps before yeah. like I was even good at basketball. Like This was just me going out there. He's usually I, at those camps. Yeah. Okay. And it was in, I think it was San Diego, and um, I was walking, and I had, this is when I had high socks. Like, I didn't roll them down. I didn't wear them short. <laughs> my shorts wasn't baggy. Or my shorts was baggy. I didn't yeah. have high shorts. So I had high socks, baggy shorts, and some Adidas slippers on. And I'm walking by him. I'll never forget this moment. I'm walking by him. He goes, you got to take those black slippers off. <laughs> and I was like, what? And I was like, he was like, you got to take those slippers off. Let me get you a pair. And that just, like, blew my, like, that made my whole day, that whole camp. After that, have you have you had the opportunity to meet him? I haven't. No. I haven't. I'm hoping. I feel like you're on your way. Yeah. You'll I'm, be I'm all right. I'm hoping I'm on And my then way. you can tell him that story. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so do you have a favorite pair of shoes? I Don't you have your unicorn customized ones yeah, I've seen? I have those. Um, I have another. I have two unicorn custom shoes. I haven't pulled the. Oh, actually, I did. I think I pulled them out last year for on my birthday. But they're just like yeah, one time a year. Kind just, of yeah, thing. they're just sitting there. Those I'm gonna the probably I'm gonna ones? pull those red ones out again. I wear. I like wearing those a lot. Okay. What is the best advice someone has given you, and who? is or was that someone my mom she always told me to stay humble and level-headed it's just gonna take you further in life so i always try to stay humble take pictures i don't like really saying no when people ask me so do you ever find it difficult to a stay humble and b the times that you maybe don't want to take pictures or you don't want to talk you know even i mean when i interviewed you at bullard my boss said, you have to get on this quick because media is going to be all over him. So you have that attention now. Do you ever, mm-hmm. is it ever hard for you to like to do it? when you, like, Do you ever not want to? There's <laughs> never a point where I don't want to. Yeah. But it's like, if I'm out with my family or like I'm at dinner or something, that's a point where it's like, it's let me just yeah. do people, enjoy this time with my family or something. Do people recognize you that much? Yeah, no like way. I can't even go to the mall. I think I saw... I don't know where I saw it, but maybe it was a picture on Instagram or something, or, or I heard a story about it, and they mm-hmm. said people were just like yeah, attacking almost. Yeah. Yeah, I can't even go to the mall anymore. Like I get stopped taking pictures. Probably That's time. crazy. Okay, so you have many followers on Instagram. I think two hundred sixty thousand. 
I know that there are some professional athletes that follow you. Mm -hmm. Like, what does it feel like to have them be a fan of you? I think it's cool. Like, I look up to those dudes. So, like, them following me is like, whoa. And plus, me being from Fresno, Merced, Livingston, Atwater, like, it's like I came up from that, and now, like, I'm here now. Yeah. And all these are you trying to quote Drake? No. I'm kidding. I'm completely joking. <laughs> Starting from the bottom. <laughs> No, I'm completely joking. Uh, nah, yeah, but it's just, I, I get excited every time I see that, like, yeah. or like I see, when I saw Russ follow me, like, I didn't even know he followed me, and then someone commented, like, Russell follows you, and you're following back. I said, yeah. oh, like, I was, like, shocked, and I, yeah, You so. probably felt, like, the same way when you started following me. Do you know that you're following me? Yeah. I, okay. I, I, look, I didn't I, know if he knew. I saw like, you post it, <laughs> and I looked at my tags, and I was like, okay, let me follow Because I'm like, he has so many followers, he probably doesn't even pay attention to that much. Yeah. Um, all right, so who is the most famous person, athlete, whatever, that's in your phone? Who is in your phone? Mm. In my phone. I'm trying to think. Probably either Dennis Smith Jr. No way. Yeah, or I don't know. How did you meet him? Uh, I worked out with him, him and Steph. In Oakland. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> this guy over here, wondering why he can't walk through the mall without people noticing him. Yeah. How was that workout? It was cool. It was fun. All right. Couple final questions, mm -hmm. just to kind of leave your last words. Um, what has made you the number two player in the country? And you've bounced back and forth, haven't you? Like one, two, one, yeah, two. One, I mean, you two, know, three, he doesn't go below one, two. Oh, two. you've gone three? I went three. Oh, God, I'm sorry. He's gone three. I'm just kidding. Too soon, too soon. <laughs> What has made you that like that player? I don't know. I think, I think how I carry myself on the court. I don't know. I feel like I just do a lot of things that a lot of players in my class aren't doing. Okay. I mean, like Evan Mobley has the height on me, but I feel like I'm number one in the class. Not to get big headed, or know, anything, but like that's hey. just this is how I feel, and it's like. That's how you got to feel sometimes, yeah, though, right? you got to. You got to. But I feel like I'm playing offense, defense, and being a leader at the same time. I can shoot, get to the rim, and, you know, slash, pass, all that. So, I mean, I feel like I pretty much do it all. I just need to critique a lot of stuff. So, yeah. Every day, at this point, every single day, mm -hmm. school, not school, at the mall, wherever, on the court, you are building your name, you're building your brands. What do you want your brand to represent? Ooh, that's a good question. That's such a good question. That is a good question. <laughs> Man, we might have to come back to that one. Another interview or something. Jalen, I'm as busy as you. I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm completely are joking. Are you, gonna sit, are you really going to think about it, though? Yeah, I'll think about it. And then we'll come back with another interview for the part two. You hear this, right? I got you. I got you. Okay. We'll come back with a part two with that one. All right. Well, I think that's it. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Not a problem.